not long ago, I posted a video about checking the squareness of this Empire brand square. In that video, I checked squareness the way that many people check squareness. That is to put the square down on a known square surface, striking a line, turning it over, striking a line close to it, and then comparing the two lines. In that video, I was very satisfied with how square this particular square is. Now, I'm going to go one step further and I'm going to check this using a precisely ground machinist cube and a dial indicator. Let's see what the results are. I've selected this end as my zero point and I've already got the indicator set to that. So let's just double check. I'm going to bring the tip of the indicator across the end of the square. And you can see that it sets to zero there. That's my zero. Let's move to the other end and see what the results are. So here we are at the other end, the end that's attached to the cube. And we'll pull the indicator across there. Can you see what that's reading? This end of the square is four thousandths of an inch lower than the end we first checked. So it's four thousandths of an inch lower than zero. Now, just for comparison, the average human hair is about three to four thousandths of an inch thick, give or take. This square being out of square, four thousandths of an inch is very acceptable. For a carpenter square. So I don't want anyone to come back and say, well, you're not doing it right. This is the most precise way that I can check this square. And it is indeed certainly square. So what should we say about the squareness of this Empire brand 12 inch combination square? It's square. That cannot be argued. Even for a machinist's layout tool, it would be square enough. So, those are the results. Those are good results as far as I'm concerned. Take care.